Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Rainy Cajun Podcast. And today I've got a special little treat for you. We're going to show you how we make beignets in the Rainy Cajun's house. So let's go ahead and get rolling. Okay, so we're just going to start with some basic kitchen tools to put this together. We're going to have a rolling pin. We're going to have a measuring cup. And then, you know, you have to have your beignet mix. You can get those at World Market, online, pretty much anywhere. And if you live in the Louisiana area or southeast, they're pretty much at a lot of the grocery stores like Rouse's and Walmart. Measure out exactly, exactly two cups. You don't need to pack it tight, but um, level it to about two cups of beignet mix. And just drop that in. And then you want to fill up with seven ounces that's it seven ounces of water now it's going to seem really dry and it's going to be super sticky but just roll it in a ball like i'm doing here once the ball is complete and all the dough and flour is all but kind of being combined you see it comes out of this is a sticky lump and then all you got to do is you just pat it down with some flour and then you use your rolling pin and again you want that rolling pin to be coated with a little bit of flour too so it doesn't stick to the um, to the beignet dough. Roll it out to about 3 16 to the max, a quarter inch thick, not eighth inch. The box says eighth inch, that's too thin. Then you trim off the edges. You wanna end up with something that's kind of rectangular or square in shape overall. Then just use your pizza cutter and you're gonna slice two ways in this direction like so, and you don't need to push really hard, just get through that. I'm on my kitchen table, I didn't leave any marks, but uh, to each their own. You could do this on a countertop if you have enough space. And you see, boom. Now what you have is three nice thickness uh, beignet doughs that we're going to now put into hot oil. So I lit up my grill. I went outside and I lit up my grill. Um, not the smartest thing to do when it's 36 degrees outside because you're losing temperature. But I heated up some cottonseed oil. Cottonseed oil is what you want to use to 370 degrees. And once you get it going at 370 degrees, you drop in your, your dough and they'll rise to the top automatically. And if they don't rise, something the, the oil is usually not hot enough. And then you see what I'm doing here. I'm ladling the tops of the beignets as they rise to the surface and you see they get poofy as a result of that and that's how you get that airy fluffiness with the beignets once they're cooked through usually about 30 seconds aside you simply just want to pick them up and put them on a drying rack or something that is going to allow the oil to kind of drain out and this is one of my favorites. We did this for our restaurant when we had one. Uh, this is a praline bacon topping. And it, it's a little bit different from the traditional uh, powdered sugar topping like I'm applying here, but it's so, so good, especially if you like a little bit of savory and sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and then here's your completed. So I've got my powdered sugar tops and then I've got my uh, praline bacon, and look how poofy those are. That's just perfect. It's exactly what you're looking for. And then you can make your own, just like that. So here's some tips. You can pause the video now if you'd like and write these down. Um, these are critical to making sure you have good, consistent beignets. And then here's our bacon praline topping. Now, this is something that um, I really enjoy uh, for just kind of mixing it up. And that's really all there is to it. Now, you know, you might stumble your first time out of the gate. No big deal. You got plenty of mix there. You can make as many as you want until you get it right. But remember, your measurements should be spot on and the oil temperature should be spot on. And cottonseed oil is just so much better for producing that authentic taste. So if you like this video or if you want to learn more, we did do an episode about this just recently. You can get it right here. And uh, you can also join us every Saturday about midday uh, Pacific time 
uh, for the Rainy Cajun Podcast. I'm here with my cousin David, and this uh, this coming week, although by the time you see this, it may be a different episode, but this coming week, we're going to be talking about pralines just in time for the holidays. So thanks again for joining me, and uh, good luck making your own beignets, and we'll see you around.